The role of tumor treating fields in oncology is being investigated in multiple tumor types. It has approval in glioblastoma and also in mesothelioma. Tumor treating fields are electric fields that exert physical forces and electrically charged components of dividing cancer cells. It has an anti-cancer mitotic effect. Downstream effects of this include immunogenic cell death and then triggering a systemic anti-tumor immune response. Prior preclinical studies have demonstrated that the combination of TT fields and taxanes or immune checkpoint inhibitors led to decreased cell viability and decreased uh, tumor size compared to um, standard of care or control or either agent alone. Additionally, we've done um, pilot studies demonstrating the feasibility and the safety of TT fields therapy and pemetrexed. That's the basis for the lunar study. The lunar study is a randomized phase three study that was designed to investigate the safety and efficacy of tumor treating fields plus standard of care versus standard of care alone in patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer who had disease progression on platinum-based chemotherapy. In this study, 276 patients were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to tumor treating fields plus standard of care, which included investigators' choice of immune checkpoint inhibitors or docetaxel versus standard of care alone. Patients were then followed every six weeks and um, continued treatment until progression. The primary endpoint of the study is overall survival in the ITT population. Key secondary endpoints include overall survival in the immune checkpoint inhibitor treated and docetaxel treated subgroups. Other key secondary endpoints included overall response rate, progression free survival, PFS and OS in, um, according to histologic subgroups, healthcare, um, health uh, quality of life, and um, safety. The Patient characteristics and demographics were well balanced between the groups. Available PDL1 status showed no difference between the subgroups as well. And ultimately, the sort of key finding of our study is that the study met its primary endpoint of overall survival. We saw statistically significant improvement in median overall survival. The median overall survival in the standard of care group was 9.9 months versus 13.2 months with a hazard ratio of 0.74 and a p-value of 0.035. We saw a really striking improvement in median overall survival in the ICI-treated patients. The median overall survival in the standard of care arm was 10.8 months versus 18.5 months. Hazard ratio of 0.63 and a p-value of 0.03. The curve separated early and remained separated um, throughout. In the docetaxel treated uh, subgroup, we saw median overall survival of 8.7 months in the docetaxel treated subgroup versus 11.1 .1 months in the TT fields plus docetaxel. The hazard ratio is 0.81 and a p-value of 0.28. Overall, the strategy was well tolerated. Um, there was no significant difference with regards to toxicities um, between the two groups, high grade toxicities, grade three or higher. There was one notable difference, which was um, higher rates of dermatitis in the TT fields plus standard of care group, 43% all grades. However, grade three or higher rates of dermatitis was low at 2%. 87% of the cases of dermatitis resolved um, with a median of about three weeks. So putting all of this together, um, our study demonstrated that the use of tumor treating fields plus standard of care in patients with um, prior treatment, specifically progression on prior platinum-based chemotherapy, led to statistically significant improvement, clinically meaningful results for our patients in the second line and beyond. Um, based on our results, TT fields should be incorporated into our standard of care therapies. And in addition, this is a, potential, a potentially paradigm shifting treatment modality. This is a wearable medical device um, that is applied to the chest. And in addition to that, you have two pairs of arrays. Patients receive this treatment local regionally and um, the recommendation is that they should use it continuously. The device is delivered to the patient's home 
um, and they have 24 seven support from a support uh, technician for this. Um, and I think it'll be really important uh, to educate patients and their caregivers on the importance of how to use the device and importantly, um, any side effects and to report this to their clinicians.